Now, this one to me <coughs> is hilarious. If you haven't seen this before, apparently there's a, a, a there's one cat who came to the to the rally, right? And the idiot decides to wear a KKK shirt, and he, <laughs> he decides to scribble on his shirt KKK um, endorses Trump. All right, clearly he was a plant by someone who does not like Trump. And they wanted to set it up to make it seem like, hey, look, he got them there with him. He loved them. Those are his friends. <laughs> but he's just sitting there trying to cause, you know, cause an issue where there aren't any. You know what I mean? If that's for his people, that's for the Trump fans, and, and they're there to show love to him, let them be there. Let them do that. If this is your way of protesting, bro, you could have possibly gotten your tail beat like beat down but you know they showed you some grace all because god is good all right but we got to show this man y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments we're gonna i'm, I'm gonna give y'all my take right after this and uh don't leave if you leave i will find you and i will make you wear that kkk shirt all right all right I have kate in san francisco who was killed okay They yelling, get out. Boo. Is that going to do right there? He's just sitting there. His, he's standing there in his shirt, and he's waving, and he's trying to cause a little bit of a issue, you know, being the class clown. Oh, man. Yo, I swear to God, if it, I, uh, if, if it, if, if I thought Trump could rap, I would think that he's about to lay out like a mean 16 bars for him. Like pull, it looked like he's pulling uh, um, lyrics and rhymes out of his pocket right now just to, just to make sure that he get it right, man. They drop a beat, he lay it down to him and just get him up out of here with it. Okay, let's go. You see that? You see that? Hold on, hold on. I want y'all to see something. Because security came over there um, after the fact, but Trump was already over there. Look, he walked over there so he could look at him. Look at him. You see the other guy over to the right that's trying to get him to get up out of there, just telling him that, dude, you, you, come on, bro. You ain't got to do this, man. You, come on, you ain't got to do this. Ah, here come out. Now, I want y'all to hear this part. He's about to say something that's my favorite part right here because um, I've been saying this before I even, when I very first started checking out these. Matter of fact, before I even started doing political um, um, reactions and whatnot, I've been saying this, and I just want to hear him say this again so that we can talk about this, man. You see, in the good old days... Law enforcement acted a lot quicker than this. A lot quicker. In the good old days, they'd rip him out of that seat so fast. But today, everybody's politically correct. Our country's going to hell with being politically correct. Yeah. And, that's, and that's the part. And that's the part. I firmly believe that. Why? Because nobody has the balls to handle their business or say what they want to say or say what they have to say. Something that needs to be said. Because when you say certain things, like I checked out some Bryson Gray the other day. <laughs> and he did a song called Trump is Your President. If you've never seen that before, um, go check out the song. You ain't got to check out my reaction if you don't want to. But when I checked that out, it blew my mind because it was like, um, and don't, don't, Fuss at me for saying this either. 
I'm like, here's this black guy, right? With the with the red and white bucket hat that says make America great again. But that's not even the that's not even the issue. Because that's cool. But he had on a t shirt that says pro God. I am pro God. That right there, anything if anyone that says that they're pro God, that should that should be motivating. That should be um inspirational that should let you know that the person i'm talking to has a has a heart that should let me know that the person i'm talking to um love people and love their community and love their country and 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 before they do anything before they make any idiotic moves make any dumb decisions they consider the counsel of god first right but a lot of people that see that will probably get offended by that because it means pro-life, because it means their freedom is more important than anything, that liberty is more important than anything. And some people have become so sensitive that when you make those type of statements, it goes against what they believe in their minds, which is absolutely idiotic, right? So you go to a store or a restaurant that does not have the red rainbow flag on the window saying, Hey, we welcome, we welcome LGBTQ in this, in this, in this establishment. Well, for one, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that because if you're doing that, then you might as well point out every single group and subgroup in the country, because it's automatically assumed that if you're a good person, that you will consider the patronage of many people many people you don't have to put it out there on a sign that says this is what we do because that mean that you're trying to be in that whole politically correct i support everything i'm on the right side of history um jargon that comes from people who are so afraid to stand against anything and to stand for anything like the whole woman argument the whole abortion argument the roe versus way being overturned all these other things is so many people who want to be politically correct and they're helping no one when we're raising our children when we're in public we don't want to give other people's children that raw straight to the point type of knowledge that we kick our own kicked our own kids because those children aren't our responsibility as a matter of fact their parents might feel some type of way if we're a little bit too honest to their children even if we're talking about santa claus and christmas and all this other stuff listen I'm not going to tell your kids any of that, but I'm going to kick the real to my children. All right. Now, there's a bunch of people out there that feel like they can just make up whatever they want to make up and then teach that to children as a fantasy because they don't want children to focus on the reality of things. They don't. As a matter of fact, they're putting people in place to actually teach false information which is unfortunate because I thought it was just one or two. I thought it was just one or two, like put a teacher, probably one teacher here in this district, not even in the school, but put one teacher or instructor in this district district that feels some type of way that feel like they want to use their classroom as, um, as their own little platform to teach whatever misinformation they want to teach to children that we send to school thinking that they're going to be led properly. But they feel like they want to like force an agenda that their that parents aren't brave enough to face yet, which is completely opposite of the truth. My point is this: being politically correct is dumb as hell, and that's one of the reasons why many people on the left do not like Trump because he don't fall in the same guys that don't look like the regular politician. He don't sound like the regular politician. He don't present himself like the regular politician. He presents himself like a person that's there to do a job. And when he says certain things, it gets people all butthurt and they don't know how to take it because they're so used to people lying to them presidentially. He's not presidential. What, he needs to lie to you with a suit on? Is that what he need to do? Because if he's straight forward um, to you, then you are um, um, so sensitive that you're hurt 
and that you want to file complaints and that you want to start a movement against them and, and say that they're racist because they're being truthful. Like when he was trying to get the votes from the black community and he said, what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? Because as I look at it right now, this is not happening in your favor. This right here is not happening for you. Um, this is negative. This is negative. That's negative and that's negative. So the regular status quo has not been working for you. So it will probably behoove you to pick someone who don't care about the whole way things are done and could actually make things happen for you. Wouldn't you agree? And people thought that was even racist. But people are like that, man. What, what can we say? Everybody's different. Everybody's different. You know, God's people, you know, he, he make us all so different, but we are all the same at the end of the day. We all want the same thing, right? We want good health. We want peace. We want freedom. We want, um, we want some prosperity. We want to be able to, you know, live abundantly. Um, and we want things to be fair. We want, you know, we all want the same things at the end of the day. But uh, somewhere along the lines, people get so lost in, in their ways of feeling, not thinking, because a lot of what changes things is the people go from their mind to their heart more and their hearts aren't thinking. There's no, there's no thought process going on in there in, at all, at all. So everything is I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, and they don't have any way of explaining it what they feel because there's no there's no brain there and if it's tied to some actual thinking and some facts or something then they can break it down to you but other than that it hasn't been happening a lot so i do agree, i do appreciate him saying that in this i appreciate him um setting this dude straight standing there and um and letting him know that he is not to be effed with and that this is not the place Usual, like I said, man, I want to hear what y'all guys say about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van Now. We are all the LFR family, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all.